Make my day. Sudden Impact was the fourth movie in the Dirty Harry series about the rogue cop and was also the only one in the, uh, in the entire series directed by its star, Clint Eastwood. By that point, Eastwood had already directed nine feature films. His 10th feature film was Sudden Impact. What's interesting about this movie is that it was probably the most successful of all the Dirty Harry movies. It began a kind of a phase in Eastwood's career when he started to basically turn his own critical perspective on the persona that he had established in earlier movies. What he wanted to do was to make a, a movie that I think was critical of his own persona as the uh, right-wing vigilante figure um, that was so successful and actually so much of its time in the early 1970s in the first Dirty Harry movie and in its follow-up Magnum Force. In this case, Dirty Harry Callahan has been sent because of his rogue maverick ways out of his hometown of San Francisco and he is sent to a smaller town in order to track down a serial killer. It's a murder case, Harry. And you're shipping me out. God damn it, Callahan. I'm doing you a favor. You're a walking friggin' combat zone. People have a nasty habit of getting dead around you. This serial killer has been murdering men, but murdering men in a most unusual way, usually with a bullet to the head and another one to the groin. The direction of the film, it looks really great, but it also, what you can feel is that thing that comes up over and over again in Eastwood movies, which is a kind of a sort of a laid back, almost indifference to what is going on. What Clint thought was funny about himself may not have reflected what most people in the world thought was funny, but he was Clint Eastwood, and we were willing to basically allow him to do anything on screen. He's very comfortable in his stardom. He knows that he's an icon as well as anything else, but the objectionable politics, the over-the-top graphic violence, and this weird kind of dichotomy between horrific violence and this kind of weirdly boneheaded comic tone to it was probably had as much to do with the success of the film as anything else. So, you know, I, I certainly understand what it is about Clint Eastwood. I understand why he's an icon. I understand why people have loved him for so long. But I also think Clint Eastwood has been more interestingly used by other directors than when he directs himself. What movie should we explore next? Tell us in the comments and subscribe for more from Hollywood Suite.